Hello everyone. Today we will see how to install or specifically run the WebGoat. I am in the GitHub page of WebGoat here. So if you look at, they are giving some warnings because this is potentially an unsafe web application. So be careful in running it. And I am using the Docker way of running the WebGoat. In case while running this Docker, if you get an error, that means the Docker is not installed. And if you want to view that, I have a separate video made uh, how to install Docker in Kali Linux. So you can refer to that. I will be giving the link in the description of this uh, video. And also I'll see if I can add uh, a link in the video itself. So now here I am running the WebGoat in the local uh, machine. Specifically, it's a VM where I'm uh, installing it so that I can do the penetration testing and carry on all the activities there. So it will take some time to load it. So there are two ways to run the server. One is using the jar file and other one is the docker way docker way is relatively simple i i would uh, say because if you want to use the jar file then you should have the jdk installed and it should be updated and if you don't want to do that then uh, i would uh, recommend uh, going the docker way but feel free to run your server with the jar file also so if you want me to create a video for that let me know in the comments and I will do that but for now we will go ahead and you can see the password is hashed so it will take some time to load so now here you see I don't know why it is not showing me the localhost um, IP address that's 127.0.0.1 0.1 but let me copy it and I'll paste it in the browser it's running on port 8080 so let me update that and it go, we have to uh, say web goat click enter here you go it is there so first time you will have to register yourself so that you can create your own username password and then you can use the web goat. So let me type in uh, Linux Mitra as a username. I'll give some uh, password. Click on sign up. I don't want to save it or oh, I see I get an error because the password length should be between uh, 6 to 10. Let me update the password now. Confirm password, done, agree, and then sign up. That's it. Ready to go. Now you have multiple things here. So you can practice different exercises or the vulnerabilities by yourself. Thanks, thanks team. I think we are good to go here.